Hello, everybody. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, um, so if you can see, I was uploading a new video now. Uh, that will be up in about 5 minutes. And this video will be up in probably 20 minutes or something, I don't know. Uh, so, what is this video going to be about? Um, this video is not going to be a new tutorial because I'm uploading one now. Uh, this video is going to be solve, helping you solve common problems. Now, um, like I said in my previous problems video, um, if you have a problem, you really gotta describe it to me detailedly. Uh, just sending me your script won't help me, because you know you have to um, post the error with it. Other times I, I can't really do much because then I have to look in the entire script and it. Some things are easy to look over, so you know if you give me a, you know your console error plus the script, and it did and it is the problem of the script. I should be able to solve it. Another thing is, if you have a problem, and you let me know, and I don't react within the half hour, you don't gotta be mad. You don't need to start being mad at me because I didn't uh, reply to you within the half hour. I mean, I got an email from someone at New Year's Eve at uh, 8 o'clock, or a little bit after 8, uh, saying that he had a problem. Or a little bit after six, I think, and it's New Year's Eve, so I was having a party uh, with my family and my friends. And half an hour later, he sends me another email, in which he's very pissed that I didn't reply to him, and with another request to reply to him. And he basically said, "Yeah, now you're part of my project or something." So don't do that because then I won't reply to you. Um, if you, if you get mad, I basically. You know, I basically won't reply because I have a, I don't have a lot of time. Um, so, yeah, let's get into problem solving. So, if you have a problem, once again, uh, stay calm, and at least give me two or three days to, you know, at least look into your problem, problem, and try to solve it. Because I, don't, like I said, I have barely enough time to make these videos, and you know, and there are a lot of people having a lot of problems, and a lot of them are the same. So, let, first of all, let's fix those. So, one of the few problems I've seen was with the gun script. Um, and this is not an error of your... Oh, I'm sorry, wait. Ah, okay, uh, this is not a problem of your gun script. This is uh, because you... A lot of common mistakes with gun scripts, you didn't uh, name this script bullet. So once again, if I name a script, uh, you know, for instance, I call the script bullet, then you need to call the script bullet as well, because we're using a lot of statements that will require um, somewhere, um, oh yeah, somewhere to health script, you know, here it says um, what, somewhere here. That doesn't really matter. Somewhere it says that it's gonna find for the bullets here. Uh, var bullet script um, equals bullet. So this is the name of the script that it's gonna look for. If you don't call it, if you don't give it the same name, it won't find it, so it won't work. So make sure you give every script the same name as I do. Don't give it your own name because it won't work. Okay? And another script, uh, another problem with the gun script is a lot of you guys do not. Um, set any damage, wait, I uh, set any damage, that wasn't a problem I saw with some guys, they just typed int, and then damage will be standard at zero, or they won't type the damage variable at all. So I also saw a couple of guys that didn't type their damage variable at all. I, I believe we did it a little later in the video, so make sure you watch the entire video, and not just uh, click at the end and then watch that. Um, just, you gotta make sure you watch the entire thing. So, a lot of people didn't type the damage variable, and of course, it won't work then. So, you, you do need to type your damage variable, it's very important. Another thing is, uh, let me head into a scene. No, this is not the right one. Okay, if you, um, for example, if you apply a health script to an object, make sure your collider is, is triggered. It needs to be set true. 
So it is, you know, you're just gonna click it, and this needs to be turned on. So a health script, and the collider of that needs to be, is triggered on. Okay? And another uh, very common problem is that your bullets aren't tagged. So you gotta tag them in the way we did in our scripts, so they need to have a tag. Other times it won't work as well. So that basically all of your emails you're sending me should be answered by now because I think all the emails I replied was neither didn't type the damage variable, they didn't tag the bullet, they already didn't set its trigger, right? Or there was one guy that didn't uh, give give his scripts the right name, but I think that was the only one that had a problem. So I hope this helped a bit or should help a lot of people because so make sure you watch this and you give it a shot another thing if you have a problem and I didn't solve it or I didn't reply to you because I don't know all way all of, I don't know all the answer to all of your problems and also you know some some people just say my gun script doesn't work and they sent me it and then what's wrong with it and sometimes it's fried and you did something wrong in setup or something make sure you know it would be really nice if you just did the video again and it should be fixed up. Um, yes, let me think what were our problems. Mm. Oh, yeah, uh, it was a problem with cameras or something. Was um, your camera manager? There was something wrong with this script, and I'm gonna solve it right now. Because I, you know, I was after a video I saw what I did wrong, but I thought most of you guys should have saw the problem uh, because it was something so easily. Um, right here. So if you see a problem like this, let you know this needs to be up. So that was wrong. And that, that caused a lot of problems with some people. So, um, and what's, hmm, yeah, so this basically you gotta, um, apply this, and also you gotta add hit something here. Um, enabled equals true. So make sure you add those two things or change this and add this, and then your camera manager should work. But I'll come back to that probably in the next tutorial. But for you know, the people who didn't spot the problem, and this here is something you know that's better if you do it that way. Normally, everything should work now, so you know, I, I hope I solved a lot of your questions. Um, so once again, m make sure you you describe your problems a little more detailed than you do now. Uh, it's better than you know before. Before it was really fun. My bullet script doesn't work. Fix it. And I was like, okay, how? <laughs> but now you guys, you know, always sending through the scripts and stuff. So that's nice. Uh, if you do send scripts, don't send them in dot uh, Java or dot JavaScript. I dot ES. You know, just send them in a in the email itself, in you know dot text or in you know just something I can open, not that I have to that I don't have to import it back into Unity because that costs like two or three minutes more of, ta of my time, and you know if ten guys do that, that's almost half an hour. I'm I'm busy, but so just solving problems. And if you just send me an email, you know I could solve your problem in like two seconds. So. That that would be nice if you guys could do that. And um, yeah, we just also want to thank you guys for your support. Uh, it's been really, really nice. Um, now let's see. I think that's it. So yeah. So also, if you have, if you're working on an FPS project, uh, it would be nice to see how far you guys come with that and stuff. Um, yeah, so if you could send me a video or, or some pictures or something like that uh, of your channel or of your video you made of your project, and then I 
people will like or and if it's good I will definitely subscribe. Um another thing. Oh yeah, one guy asked me how old I was. I'm fifteen and I started with Unity but when I just turned thirteen. So I've been doing Unity a little over two years now. Now a little under two years, sorry. Uh, almost two years now, almost. So, and then in the beginning I didn't know anything of Unity, anything of programming, so I, everything I learned in, in about a year actually, yeah, if you, if you spend a lot of time and the thing I spent an hour a day, you know, back in the day, when I first started with Unity I spent an hour, two hours a day programming stuff, following tutorials, the Terminator Twins tutorials, I can, I can definitely remember those. What one of what one of my first tutorials I followed, uh, Burger or Cake tutorials. I did a couple of those, for my RPG kit, or my RPG game, something very very little. Uh, and I did some of um, Natro. Natro is great. One two three four. Did a lot of his tutorials as well. He helped me a lot of understanding how raycasts work and stuff like that. Um. The how to make an FPS game, you know, with the FPS um, kit of uh, Unity. I, th I think he called Techzone TV or something, or Techzone 4. I don't know, we, um, we gotta. That yeah, was my tutorials to follow, and then some other individual village sorts things, and then I made some couple of small games as well. So, yeah, just guys, keep practicing, you know, when it, don't. It only takes about a year to, you know, really get familiar with scripting and, and stuff. So yeah, uh, I hope you like this video. You know, solve the cup most of the problems. Um, and also the little vloggy stuff. You know, if you like that. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna upload this now. And uh, bye.